Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I wanted to give you a quick update on my Accutane treatment, which I actually finished about three months ago. So I took Accutane from January of last year until September of last year. And I've been off the drug for about three months now. And I, yeah, I wanted to let you guys know how it's been going since and what like effects or side effects I've still been experiencing. So that uh, if you are contemplating going on this drug, uh, that might, you know, give you some kind of data, some kind of reference points and things, you know, to look forward to. So remember that I took Accutane because I had basically exhausted any other treatments for acne. I had exhausted most topicals. I did antibiotics, topical as well as systemic antibiotics, and it never really got rid of my acne. It only seemed to be getting like worse and worse. Um, so Accutane or isotretinoin as it's, you know, as the drug name is known, it was kind of the last option and it's, you know, a quite heavy drug, I would say, um, because of its myriad side effects, you know, everything gets dry, uh, all of that. You know, I did some videos on that. Um, but so for me, once I stopped the medication, which I did in September, uh, I think my last month was actually at a lower dose. It was only at 20 milligrams. My course before that had been at 40 milligrams a day. Um, the dryness did still persist for about a month. It got like better and better um, to the point where right now my skin is not really dry anymore. So uh, right now, like some of the oiliness has returned, uh, even though it's a lot better than before. And, you know, you might see some shininess on my face, but that's because I'm wearing sunscreen right now. It's not, uh, not necessarily because my skin is so oily. Um, you remember that I also loved, loved, loved during my Accutane course that uh, I didn't really have to wash my hair because there was no sebum production on the scalp. Um, but unfortunately, those days are over as well. And um, yeah, my oily scalp and uh, the dandruff with that has returned to some extent. I think it's still better than before. But um, yeah, it's basically uh, there again. Um, but fortunately, some of the other side effects, such as the back pain I had, the muscle pain, the bone pain, uh, that subsided as well. Um, I would say about like between four and six weeks um, after stopping the drug. I mean, it stays in your system for a while. Uh, so that's good now as well. I think in that respect, I'm completely back to normal and I don't really, you know, observe any changes um, when it comes to, you know, pain or dry eyes and stuff um, compared to what it was like before I was on the drug. Regarding the skin on my face, I did notice uh, some pimples coming back, um, about four or so. Um, they were very small though. Um, some blackheads have returned again as well, especially here around, you know, like the nose fold, uh, which was a bit of a bummer because I really thought that I would have been done, done forever with like any pimples. but. Uh, I was also kind of slacking off a bit um, during my skincare routine. So uh, that was about like beginning of December or so. And, you know, I had just, I kind of had this impression that now I don't need to be as diligent anymore. I don't need to be as careful anymore. You know, my skin is just perfect and there's not going to be any pimples anymore. But uh, clearly that's not how it works. And now that I have uh, restarted using a salicylic acid face wash in the morning to just exfoliate, and uh, also use different, so Adapalene gel at night again. Uh, it seems to be getting better, even though I'm kind of at a point with Adapalene where I feel like I might be purging again. Um, I've been getting some smaller pimples in the past two days. It's really weird, you know? When I do get pimples, they're really, really small, and then they're there for a day and then they're gone, which is already so much better than before, and I'm, al I'm already very happy with that result, but Obviously, I thought that I had like conquered pimples forever. So I want to see another couple of months to, you know, just see how this goes, see where this goes, see if um, the pimples really come back to such an extent that I feel like I might need um, to repeat Accutane, which I honestly hope I don't have to because it would be another 400 euros that I would spend. And in addition, Shang, my husband, is um, also going to start Accutane later this month. And it would be nice, you know, to at least have one fully functioning person who does not have like back pain all the time uh, in the house. Um, not sure if it would be a great idea to go through Accutane at the same time if we also plan to do some major renovations, 
which we're actually right now in the process of. So um, yeah, I hope I won't need a re uh, repeat treatment, but um, I guess I just want to tell you guys to beware and to not think that this drug is magic and that it will uh, clear up everything and your skin is just going to be super perfect. Of course that might happen. Of course it does happen to people, but uh, I guess at the end of the day, it's still a drug, um, which, you know, works to some extent, works differently in different people. So yeah, I guess, uh, I guess this is my message. I don't know if that's really uplifting, but, uh, I guess it's a realistic take on, uh, what Accutane can do and what Accutane cannot do. So I guess this is it when it comes to my Accutane update. Um, if anything changes, I'm surely going to let you guys know. Uh, we also plan to do more YouTube videos this year. Um, we just got so busy with uh, house stuff and with our PhDs, um, but I really want to pick it up um, this year because I I like talking to you guys. I like making YouTube videos. Um, I like being creative this way um, and connect with people, uh, which is now more important than ever, given that we are in a lockdown again for like the fourth time. So thank you guys for watching. If you are interested in more content about, I guess, Accutane um, and uh, generally our lives and uh, our lives as PhDs in the Netherlands, um, our house renovation projects. Um, we have some nice videos coming up on that. Uh, one hopefully later this week about renovating our pantry using IKEA items only. Um, then be sure to subscribe to our channel, uh, give this video a like, um, comment if you have been on Accutane um, because I would, I'm dying to know if this has happened to other people that they've just gotten random small pimples uh, months after they're done with their treatment. Uh, and well, I'll surely see you guys in another video very soon. So bye for now.